Hi and welcome, Cat from Sacred Soul Rising. So, I am doing a bit of a, I wasn't planning on, but it seems to be turning into a bit of a series on Kundalini and at the stages that it gets activated um, and as it moves through the different chakras. Now, what I want to really stress here the the journey, the Shakti energy that rises within you, it's not a linear process. This journey, the journey of awakening, you've been activated because you met another incarnation of you, i.e. your twin flame. I really want to stress that it's not a tick chart. It's not linear. I know that there's a lot of people that talk about it as stages and linear stages. It doesn't work like that. And I really want to stress that because if you get caught up in almost like a tick chart, okay, I've gone through the detox. Now I'm moving into surrender. Oh, Kat talked about that we're now base and root. Now I'm going to move up to sacral. Then I'm going to move to solar plexus. It, it doesn't really work like that. This journey is like layers of an onion. It peels away. And so sometimes, say like you're working the, the energy, the Shakti Ma. And what I really want to say is this is way bigger than what the mind can comprehend. It's a, it's, it's a spiritual journey. And so it works in spirals, not in a linear form. And once you can start to dance with the energy and start to dance with your own energy, that's when you will shift on this journey. Whenever, While ever you are trying to understand it by ego mind and do it as like a tick chart, tick, 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 and going, oh, okay, yeah, I've got to that bit now. Woohoo! I'm on the next phase. See you later. It doesn't work like that. It really doesn't. And so don't get yourself caught up in that because that will keep you um, looping on the journey. That will keep you in a stagnant energy. This journey happens um, in spirals. It happens not in a linear form. So, um, but that being said, you will feel the activations and I'm giving you this information so when you feel like I talked about um, solar plexus and heart chakra yesterday and how it can feel you can be left feeling like that void energy and feeling a little bit like am I even on the journey anymore Um, I, I want you to know that Yes, you can feel like that and you will go through that energy as it moves through that, but it can then it can then dance back up, it can then ignite back up the sacral, you know, as it the layers are coming back. So don't think, oh, okay, I've ticked that, I've ticked that, oh I'm not far off crown now, so this must be it for me. No, it comes in layers and you know it depends what your soul needs to work through, you know, it depends how much conditioning is also there as well. So I really want to stress, and it's funny, I pulled a card today and it's this card of being patient. Don't allow yourself to think in this way. This journey is not about patience. I see this a lot of people going, well, I just need to be patient then. I've gone to that stage, now I will be patient. Please, whatever you do, don't get caught up in that waiting energy, in that patient energy. This journey is activating you. So you come into that phoenix energy, that sovereign energy, and you're not waiting for anything. You are coming into that wholeness and that fullness at every level. It's been, it's funny, I'm being given that ripening energy. You, people will be going, oh, she's on about fruit again. She's on about peaches. Um, no, I'm not on about peaches. But, you know, as you shift through this journey, you know, you, you start to ripen and you know when we ripen we come into that wholeness and that fullness and that succulent full energy you know if you've ever bit that beautiful um ripe peach 
Oh, mango, you know, it's got, oh, well, you're not going to bite a mango, are you? But, you know, if you slice it, it just tastes divine. And this journey, as you shift through, you shift out of that lower vibration, those lower frequencies into those higher frequencies and you come into that ripeness, into that abundance energy. We think about, and you know, nature can teach us so much about this journey, you know, that abundant energy, that abundant fruit tree is full of the most succulent, uh, beautiful, mouth-watering fruit. This journey is, is taking you through a journey so you come into that fullness. Now, throat activation. What do you feel in throat activation? Once the energy starts to activate that, that throat portal, um, is you will no longer be able to hold back. You will feel this need to speak your truth, to be able to express yourself. You know, so many times um, as, you know, we're, we're conditioned to believe, I know especially in the British mentality is, you know, don't speak out, don't, you know, always you know, seen but not heard type of thing. No, this journey is about you coming in. And we can still do it with purity. We can still do it with love and care. But it's also about not, you know, being able to speak our truth in the most purest and wholeness energy. So many times, you know, we allow it to build, to build, to build. So then we're at explosive energy. And remember on this journey, the divine feminine explodes. The divine masculine implodes. But when you are speaking your truth, when the throat gets really activated and and the, the Shakti energy is activating it, you're no longer in that explosive energy. You're just in flow and you do it with grace. You do it with love, but you don't hold back who you are. You don't, you know, shrink away and think I'm not enough. I, I, I can't speak. I can't speak my truth. I can't, you know, be that divine source energy. I am here to align with who I am at soul purpose. And so you will feel the need to maybe express to, to loved ones, to friends, um, also as well, you know, with, with your other incarnation of you, i.e. your twin flame, you might feel the need to really get strong on boundaries. Whereas before you felt that, you know, you don't really say because you're scared that of the running energy. Once you're activated in throat energy um, and that throat, that kundalini is really, you know, expansive in this area and that shakti is rising and, and clearing out all that low, dense conditioning, you're not afraid to say what you need. You're not afraid to put down those strong boundaries, but you're not doing it from a wounded aspect. You're doing it from an empowered aspect, from a purity, from a love aspect of this is what I need, this is what I require. And I'm not I'm not willing to um to 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 be patient and 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 I don't mean that in, in I need it now. I mean it in a way of I'm not willing to forgo my own needs and my own wants. This is what I require. This is what I expect. And obviously, if you can't deliver that, maybe right now that's not the right energy. And once you start to stand and operate in that frequency, and I'm talking about in all areas of your life. So friends, family, relationships, career, um, all areas of your life, you know, your twin flame, then you start to vibrate in a new frequency in that sovereignty. And, you know, I really want to stress that you can do this. And as that throat gets activated, it's coming as well. The energy is coming up from that heart vibration. You're doing it with the most divine, sacred love. And so, People will either naturally just fall away that are in that lower vibration 
or they will start to match your frequency. And so don't be afraid to stand in your sovereignty. Don't be afraid as that throat gets activated. It, it activates in a very rose vibration. Roses um, and certain crystals like selenite, they, they vibrate in a very, very pure angelic frequency. And the angelic frequency is all about being of purity, being of truth, standing in who you are becoming in wholeness and not afraid to, you know, not afraid to own it. So many times on this journey, people get activated and then they're really afraid to own who they are at every aspect. You know, what will people think? What will people say? What will people think and what will people say if you're in that vibration? Maybe they're not your people. And this journey will show you exactly who your tribe is. And, you know, if people start to fall away on this journey, it's because they're not your tribe. They're not your people. And sometimes as we shift and change on this journey, we get activated into such a high frequency. As I say, it is an angelic frequency. I hope this helps. Um, you will, once you're activated in throat, you will be speaking your truth. And as you speak your truth, remember, you're one energetic system. So as you're speaking your truth, Divine Masculine naturally has to stand in and speak his truth as well. If you need more help and support on this journey, if you need tools, how to shift on this journey, then my website is there. Click down in the description. It's all there to help and support you. I send you much love, many blessings.